In this video, we are going to use Pythagoras theorem to calculate the hypotenuse of each of the following right triangles. So hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene and let's get started with this video. So first, let's draw a right triangle. And we know that this is a right triangle because of this square in one of the corners of the triangle. When you see this square, you know that that is a 90 degrees angle. And we want to calculate the length of the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is always the side opposite the 90 degrees angle. So this is the hypotenuse. But to calculate the hypotenuse, we need the measurements of the other two sides. So this side is 3 centimeters and this side is 4 centimeters. Now we can calculate the length of the hypotenuse. So first, before we start, in the formula, you can see that we work with A, B and C. So we need to go and name our sides A, B and C, where C is always the hypotenuse. You can switch the other two sides around as long as C is always your hypotenuse. And now let's start by writing down the formula. So A square plus B square is equal to C square. And we have the value for A and B. So we are going to take the value for A and B and insert it in the right places. So first, A is three centimeters. So we're going to add the three in A's place. So 3 square plus B is 4 centimeters. So in B's place we're going to write 4 and then remember the square and that is equal to C square. We don't have the value for C, we want to calculate the value for C. So for the next step, what is 3 square? 3 times 3 is 9 plus what is 4 square? 4 times 4 is 16 and that is equal to c square. Now we're going to add these two together. So 9 plus 16 is 25 and that is equal to c square. But now we have the value for c square, not for c and we want the value only for c. So how are we going to calculate that? We are going to use a square root to get rid of that square, but you can't only do that to C square, you also need to do that to the 25. You need to get the square root of 25 and the square root of 25 is 5 and that is equal to C. So now you have the value for C, but remember C is not just 5 because 5 can mean anything. It can mean 5 apples, 5 days, 5 anything. So you need to write down C is equal to 5 centimeters. And now you have the value for the hypotenuse. Let's look at another example. Here we have a right triangle and the hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. And we need to calculate the hypotenuse. So first we name our sides. So we have A, B, C. Remember C is always the hypotenuse. And now we can write down our formula. So A square plus B square is equal to C square. And now we can go fill in A and B's values. So A is 8, so it's going to be 8 square plus B is 6, so it's going to be 6 square is equal to c square and for the next step what is 8 square so 8 times 8 is 64 plus 6 times 6 is 36 and that is equal to c square so now we just add these two together and 64 plus 36 is 100 and that is equal to c square but remember we want the answer for c not c square so we cancel the square by using a square root but then we also need to do that to the hundred we need to get the square root of a hundred and that is 10. so 10 is equal to c but remember it's not 10 apples it is 10 centimeters so you write down c is equal to 10 centimeters. So the hypotenuse is 10 centimeters. But it doesn't always work out this 
perfectly. Sometimes you end up with a decimal. Here we have again a right triangle and the two sides is 7 meters and 9 meters. This time we're working with meters and we want the hypotenuse. So first we're going to name our sides which is A, B and C. C always the hypotenuse and then we write down our formula. So A squared plus B squared is C squared. And now we fill in the values for A and B. So A is 7 and it's going to be square plus B is 9 so it's going to be 9 square that is equal to C square and for the next step 7 times 7 7 square is 49 plus 9 times 9 9 square is 81 and that is equal to C square now we add these two together so 49 plus 81 is 130 and that is equal to c square and remember to get rid of the square we take the square root but we also need to do that to the 130 so we get the square root of 130 but this is not something you need to know by heart because this is going to be a decimal number so you can use your calculator to calculate what the square root of 130 is and it is 11,4017,54251 and that is equal to C. But we're not going to leave it like this. If a question doesn't specify to you whether to round it to the nearest whole number or to the nearest decimal or second decimal, you always round off to the nearest hundredths. So to the nearest second decimal. So C is going to be 11, Four, zero. And again, not apples, but meters. And I want you to notice that the zero behind 11,4 doesn't add or take away any value. So you can leave that zero out. So our hypotenuse is 11,4 meters. And just like in all my other videos, there will be a worksheet with a memo in the description box below. You can just click on the link and go and download the worksheet and memo. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.